Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Jagdish. In this video, we will discuss about map collection class. Generally, map collection class allows us to store key value pairs. Map is an order collection. Key is unique and value is unique or duplicate. Map collection does not allow duplicate elements. This is the syntax of the map collection class. Map key, da key data type, value data type, object name equals to new map key data type and value data type. These are the number of methods uh, used in map collection class. Put, put all, size, is empty, get, contains key, remove, clear, set, list and equals let's see one by one open your developer console and create new class map demo one map demo1 class is successfully created after that i'm create one method name is map method after that here i'm create map first is integer Key value and after that another data type is string key is string and value is key is integer and value is string integer to string map equals to new map integer is after that string map is successfully created here m add some value to this map name of the map is integer to string map method is put key is 1 and value will be a and add another value key is 2 and value is b and i'm simply print this map having system dot debug integer to string map and print this integer to string map save this unaccepted token Open execute anonymous window and create one object app demo one 
equals to new map demo one and assign property map method and execute click here debug only see here key is 1 and value is a key is 2 and value is b map is successfully printed after that next method is a remove here I am right integer to string map dot remove at one after that I am again print this uh, map save this and execute this file debug only see here firstly it prints all the values in map there are two values in map after that I am right here remove methods remove at position 1 A contains at 0, uh, zero position and B contains at 1 position and this will be removed after that next method is size I am directly size method in system.debug it returns the size of the map firstly save this file after that execute the code after that click here debug only we can see map size is 2 after that next method is values values method is used to used to print only values of the map means uh, when we use the values method then it prints only a and b it not prints uh, key value 1 and 2 save this and execute code execute file debug only it contains value a and b it not prints the key value after that next method is key set uh, before that we can also uh, write this value in list right here or create one list <coughs> it contains string because we use here value method and it treats only string str list equals to new list 
string str list equals to integer to string map dot values and simply print this list str list save this Okay, after that, execute uh, this code. Click here, debug only. We got the only values of the map. After that, next method is uh, key set. Here I am create one set in teacher type because I want to print only key of the map in teacher set equals to new set and it will be in teacher type in teacher set dot key set. And simply print this and write here key is and print this set integer set. Save this. Here equals to integer to string map dot key set. Execute this code. See here it prints only key values one and two. After that, next method is remove integer to string map dot remove at one position integer to string map and simply print again map integer to string map save this file and Execute code. Debug only. We can see key value is removed at position 1. After that, next method is clear. Here I am simply write clear method. Save this. And Execute the code. Debug only, we can see map is empty. 
after that next method is here m right is empty it checks map is empty or not if map is empty it return true otherwise it return false execute code Okay, after that click here debug only. It returns true because here we can also use clear method. That's why map is empty. These are the uh, some methods used in map. Please like video and subscribe my channel for upcoming video. Thanks for watching.